have already seen what tasks the farmer has to carry out to cultivate crops and when the farmer needs to do these tasks now let us see how crops are protected and how crops are stored to avoid destruction of a crop due to insects and crop diseases insecticides are sprayed on it sometimes medicines are applied to seeds before they are sowed due to these remedies damages to crops are prevented in nature we see several plants and animals which store food for example you have already seen how animals like ants and honey bees store food even squirrels store seeds plants store food in different parts of their body for example onion garlic and ginger store food in their stems radish sweet potato beetroot carrot store food in their roots man also has to create stores of food grains special care has to be taken when storing crops as we get rain usually only for 4 months in the year and that too may vary sometimes it's heavy or sometimes it is scanty the harvested grains need to last for a year if grains are not stored properly insects and rats can destroy the crops to avoid this crops are dried in the sun before storage once the grains are stored in gunny sacks these sacks are kept in godowns or warehouses homes and shops suitable anti pest medicines are sprayed around the sacks sometimes insecticides are applied to the grains themselves neem leaves are added to heaps of grains you may have seen neem leaves in vegetable baskets neem is an effective insecticide to stop fungus from infecting grains the grain is stored in dry places in recent times agricultural production in india has increased we also export grains that is we sell it to other countries the great increase in crop production which happened in the middle of the last century is known as the green revolution lots of scientists worked hard to bring about this green revolution the credit for this increase in the production of wheat and rice in india goes to the efforts of the agricultural scientist dr m s swaminathan the climate of the world is changing since the past several years there are sudden storms and untimely rainfall this causes large scale destruction of crops scientists are trying to find solutions for these issues the government and voluntary organizations have been making efforts to ensure that information about these experiments reaches farmers there have been attempts to communicate with them about farming through agricultural extension programs farming schools agricultural universities tv newspapers agriculture related magazines and periodicals this endeavor will benefit farmers sufficient and nutritious food is the right of every human being many countries have made laws to ensure this india has also made a law concerning this known as the food security act many indians still suffer from malnutrition due to lack of nutrition and low food availability if the benefits of this law and the efforts made to increase crop production reach the people then there will be no victims of malnutrition and famine in india all of us should know and be aware of this what did we learn farmers try to prevent spoiling of grains by insects and fungal infection drying crops in sunlight spraying insecticides keeping neem leaves are all good solutions to avoid insect linked grain spoilage and to enable grains storage the sharp increase in crop production in india is known as the green revolution india has enacted a law to make sure everyone gets sufficient food this law is known as the food security law mediums like the government voluntary organizations tv periodicals are working towards communicating the benefits of different experiments in agriculture to farmers exercise question 1 what would happen if 
वन ग्रेन्स आर नॉट ड्राइड इन सनलाइट टू फूड इज नॉट स्टोर्ड क्वेश्चन टू फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स वन द क्रेडिट फॉर इंडियाज ग्रीन रेवोल्यूशन गोज टू डैश टू द लॉ एनेक्टेड टू एंश्योर दैट एवरी वन गेट्स सफिशियंट फूड इज नोन एज द डैश थ्री डैश लीव्स आर एडेड टू ग्रेन्स